What's up guys, I'm Rasim from RaspberryTech.com and today we're gonna get a chance to play around with our Raspberry Pi 2 again. Now it's been a while since I've done any videos with Raspberry Pis and I freaking need my Raspberry Pi fix. So in this video we're gonna see if our Raspberry Pi 2 can actually swim. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. We're gonna see if a Raspberry Pi 2 can swim inside some mineral oil. I got a fish tank, I got some mineral oil, I got a Raspberry Pi 2 Model B and we're gonna see if it works submerged in that mineral oil. So I have a monitor set up, I have a keyboard so without further ado, let's get started because I need my freaking Raspberry Pi fix and I need it right now. All right guys, as you can see, I have a Raspberry Pi, I have a fish tank and I have mineral oil. Now let's see if that Raspberry Pi in that mineral oil will still work. So I have all the cables connected to that Raspberry Pi. I have a uh, keyboard, I have the power cable, I have the internet cable. I don't know if we're gonna use the internet cable today, maybe in another episode but I have it connected to this monitor right here, the keyboard's right down there, and we are gonna find out if a mineral oiled submerged Raspberry Pi actually works. So let's get started. All right guys, so I'm gonna power this thing up, let's see if it will work. So I have this power cable, I'm gonna connect it to this power source here, and as you can see, it lit up down here. I don't know if you can see it, but it lit up, and the monitor is actually working. It, the Raspberry Pi is actually working right now. It's submerged under mineral oil, by the way. Completely submerged under mineral oil. It's got all the cables connected to it. I connected it to this monitor and it completely works. So you, technically you can uh, use a Raspberry Pi while it's submerged under mineral oil. So I figured this is a cool little uh, neat trick to show you guys. I always wanted to do something like this. I actually wanted to do something like this at a bigger scale, but uh, that'll soon to come later on. All right, so now I'm just gonna log in. The login is Pi and the password is Raspberry. I'm logged in, now start the graphical user interface you type in StartX. Let's see if it works. Bam, it's loading right there. That Raspberry Pi submerged under that mineral oil and that tank actually works. Now, uh, maybe another video, I'll do some tests. I'll uh, see what it actually can do. I'll, I'll uh, see if it overheats or not, and, uh, or maybe even connect that ethernet cable to the internet. But I just wanted to test it out to see if it works. And uh, I thought it's cool that you, know, you can actually do stuff like this. So that's pretty much it for this video. All right guys, so that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys like this video, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rasim from RossmerTech.com and thank you for watching. Peace.